We hit 90 degrees once again today in Green Bay. Tomorrow, I don't quite think we'll get that hot. And the good news is, overall, I think it's actually going to stay on the comfortable side. I mean, 90 degrees can only be so comfortable, but at the very least, we didn't have that humidity in place, not going to be moving in during the overnight hours tonight. And actually, as a matter of fact, as the winds calm down over tonight, I think we'll drop down to 61 degrees, a fairly nice evening. And starting out the day on the nicer side of things tomorrow by noon, we're at 83, so warming up and still dry. And tomorrow afternoon, I think we do have the chance for an isolated thunderstorm or two, 88 degrees by the time we reach our daytime high tomorrow. But the good news is not expecting any strong or severe thunderstorms tomorrow, so we've got the severe weather index way down in the low category. But it is going to be a very warm day tomorrow, and that warm pattern going to be continuing on and through the next couple of days. And you can see how those temperatures tomorrow are going to be getting right back on up into the 80s. Right now at a WLUK, this is on our tower, 83 degrees. Most places right now hovering in the 70s. Move down into Appleton, actually, right now at 81 degrees. You can see a few clouds overhead, but not too much cloud cover there at all. Across the rest of the state at the airport, Green Bay at 74 degrees. 71 right now in Fond du Lac, 73 as you move up into the UP and Escanaba. Very comfortable evening there. 75 in the Dell, 77 in La Crosse, 72 in Eau Claire. And as I mentioned, those dew points fairly low as well. We're hovering around 60 for dew point in Green Bay, 57 in Fond du Lac, 55 Ryan Landers, 60 in Wisconsin Rapids. And you really have to wait until you get up into the 60s to really start feeling the dew points until it really starts to feel sticky. And the good news is that really moist air trapped off towards our south. Any, anywhere that the dew point is over 70, and more down towards central Illinois, Peoria, right about 70. Des Moines at 75. It's very humid air. 71 in Mason City and 74 in Lincoln. And that's all trapped actually on the south side of a stationary boundary that's kind of parked across the middle parts of the country. It's going to take a little while for that boundary to work its way on up into us. So in the meantime, even though it will be very warm, we're not going to be that Humid, And so we've got high pressure that's going a weak area of high pressure sliding overhead during the overnight hours tonight. I think tomorrow we do have the chance to see a storm or two pushing down on in the afternoon hours. Uh, but again, nothing too widespread, very isolated storms moving our way from Monday on into Tuesday. This is the middle of night, Monday night into Tuesday. You see we're still dry, but over the course of the day on Tuesday, I think what's going to happen is we see a warm front push on up overhead that could uh, spark up a storm or two. And then we see a weak cool front pass on by. So even though it will be a warmer day on Tuesday, we could see some more humidity. I think we do dry out once again briefly and cool down briefly just a little bit on Wednesday. So for the day tonight, or for the overnight hours tonight, 61 degrees, partly cloudy and mild for the day tomorrow, 88 degrees, partly cloudy with an isolated thunderstorm or two, nothing widespread. And then for Monday, 86 degrees, chance for a couple isolated storms. Tuesday, similar story, but 90 degrees for your daytime high. And then as we push into Wednesday, that weak cool front pushes by 87 for the high. Thursday, though, back up to 90 once again by the time we hit Friday. We're at 93. I've gotten the forecast there. Saturday could see some more showers and storms pushing by. The bad news is, though, when it comes to those showers and storms, none of those, the widespread soaking rains that we really need in order to get the, the soil moisture up to levels where it might not be so hazardous to set off your own fireworks right. or anything like that. So it'll definitely be a concern as we move on closer to the 4th of July. Okay. Thank you, Phil. Mm -hmm.